Hello, everybody, and welcome to Midweek News, Episode 53, a.k.a. Season 2, Episode 1. Let's get into it. First up, Unity Software to cut 3.8% of its workforce. Video game software provider Unity will cut 265 jobs from its global workforce. This comes after the company tried to impose a runtime fee pricing policy. Is this the beginning of the end for Unity? Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 plans to drop Xorg. It seems to be a trend in the Linux world today to drop Xorg in favor of Wayland. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 is due for release in the first half of 2025. Internet use does not appear to harm mental health. The article is unfortunately paywalled. According to the Slashdot Brief, the researchers studied data on psychological well-being from 2.4 million people aged 15 to 89 in 168 countries between 2005 and 2022. Tails 5.20 updates Tor Browser and Ditch's AdGuard filter list. New features include Tor Browser 13.0.4 and Thunderbird 115.5.0 and many bug fixes. Pipewire 1.0 has been released. The interview in this article features Pipewire developer Wim Tamens. LibreOffice 7.6.3 has been released with more than 110 bug fixes. Users of DEB and RPM distributions can find official packages on the LibreOffice website. The 7.6 series will be supported until June 2024. Effortlessly retrieve commands from Linux command line history like a pro. Even I learned something new reading this article. These tricks will also work on macOS and potentially BSD. These are absolutely worth a look if you're looking to take your command line foo to the next level. Nitrix 3.2 released with Aesthetic FHS and Linux Kernel 6.6 LTS. For the uninitiated, Aesthetic FHS is a new file hierarchy standard attempting to make the Linux FHS directories under root more human readable. A future release will finish the work to migrate more completely to Aesthetic FHS. I will be interested to learn more as this develops. Microsoft brings chat GPT AI to Windows 11 command line. Well, there's a catch. And that catch is twofold. First, it's only available in the testing branch of Windows Terminal. Second, the feature does not currently ship with its large language module. The feature currently expects users to get Azure OpenAI service. Wave, a modern Linux and macOS terminal you might love. This terminal aims to be to the command line what VS Code was to text editors. Features a code editor-like interface, allows for easy editing of files without mastering keyboard shortcuts. Features persistent SSH connections and universal history. Note that telemetry is enabled by default, but can be easily disabled. It is licensed under the Apache 2.0 open source license and is available for Linux and both ARM and x86-64 for macOS. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another Midweek News. If you got something out of this, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below the video. It'd be interesting to hear what you thought was the most interesting article of the week. And if you've got any suggestions for articles that I may have missed that I can include next week. Until next time. Thank you for watching, happy computing, and have a great day.
internet use internet use does not appear to harm 